Hey Taurus, Dana, Deep Thoughts with Dana. And these are your deep thoughts for the next two weeks or so ish, mid month ish, right? From whenever it, whenever it tingles to whenever it stops tingling is when this reading is for, right? Um, it's not for everybody though. Okay. If you have Taurus anywhere in your chart, this reading very well may resonate with you might resonate with you even if you don't have Taurus in your chart. A reading is a reading is a reading. If it tingles on the inside, that's when it's for you. If you're hearing me talk and you're like, wow, it's me. It's what's going on. It's what's going on. And then maybe it's the story starts to take a different turn. Um, either you haven't hit that point yet or it's not your it's not your story, right? But different parts of the reading can resonate with you. The entire reading doesn't have to resonate with you, but parts of it will resonate with you and some parts of it may not resonate with you, okay? So take what fits and leave the rest on the shelf, okay? All right, general reading for the sign of Taurus the next two weeks or so. Um, if you'd like a personal reading with me, you can reach me at deepthoughtswithdana.com, link in the box below. I also put out what I think. My mom thinks it's a super cool video, and my mom is like staunch Southern Baptist, okay? She does not, um, she doesn't understand what's going on here, and, um, and uh, I sent the video to her to get her opinion, right? And she watched it. And as somebody who is totally and completely not in tune with tarot or the metaphysical, um, she thought it was amazing. And she said it helped her to understand so much more about what I do and about tarot in general. And it's about how to create prosperity in your life through the lessons in the tarot deck in a tarot card reading and I think it's pretty cool but there's a link in the box below and um, if y'all want some well a little bit education <laughs> on the tarot cards this is about the major arcana so click the link in the box below and watch that video it's a long one you don't really have to watch it just listen to it right just listen to it okay so what I've done is I have pulled the cards okay I've pulled 15 cards. I do 15 every time I do a spread. Um, I do 15 cards because one plus five is six. Six is the number of communication and problem solving. And that's what we're doing. I am channeling the collective energy and I'm channeling source and they're colliding in my cards and giving me a tarot card reading. Okay. So, um, I have laid out the cards, 15 cards, and um, then we're going to talk about them. And I'm going to clarify on camera, okay? Because I just, um, just, I just want to. I'm going to clarify on camera. So, what we have on the board right now is, well, this Two of Cups, right? This Two of Cups kept coming out. I was shuffling, 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 asking, you know, Spirit, what does Taurus have coming down the road for the next two weeks? And this Two of Cups kept trying to come out, right? And I kept putting it back in because I wasn't ready, right? Taurus in control spirit. I'm not ready yet. So you just hold on. No. So this started to try to come out. So I gave in and I took it, right? So this is the overall energy for the next two weeks. The two of cups, a unified love relationship or a very strong partner relationship. Overall energy for this reading. Okay. All right. What came out in the actual 15 card spread is the Page of Wands. This is going to talk to us about um, feelings of exuberance, excitement. It could possibly be initial small little messages about um, inspiration, small little inspired messages about passion, right? The, but, you know, because these small messages, unless you're getting sexted, right? Unless somebody's sending you sexy text messages, the energy of the page of wands is initial beginnings, small little initial beginnings, right? So some small initial communication about the passion that somebody has for you or for the situation. <clears throat> and then we have the star card. Okay. Never fear. The star is here, right? This is about hope, faith, purpose, spirituality, and renewal 
in your life, in a situation. It's major arcana, which means this is some kind of a life lesson for you. And we're going to talk about this as we go through. Okay. Hope, faith, purpose, and renewal. To the seven of swords. Lie, lying, stealing, cheating, <laughs> lying, cheating, stealing, shady behavior, deception, betrayal. Okay, this card is also about breaking free of all of that as well. To the Knight of Pentacles, this is surveying the landscape and trying to find the direction that you're going to go. To the King of Swords, this is speaking your truth. This is making a decision. To the Ten of Cups, harmony, happiness, values alignment in your relationships, in your marriage, in your home, in your whole everything, okay? To the Queen of Swords, this is, again, truth being spoken and a decision. And I bet you any money when we pull the clarifying cards, I wonder if the King of Swords to the Ten of Cups to the Queen of Swords is not information that y'all are sharing with each other. Communication. We'll see. Four of Pentacles in the middle of your reading. This is either going to tell us that you're trying, that you see you're trying to create, or there's being communication about control, stability, security in your life. This could also end up being about feeling self-protective and defensive. To the Nine of Pentacles, this is a conclusion. The number nine is about fruition, attainment, and conclusion. Okay, just because somebody con something concludes, doesn't mean it, that's an ending, right? A conclusion usually leads to a decision that follows it, right? So we'll see what that means. To the Page of Cups, this is a messenger. This is this is a creative beginning, creating a beginning. So a message. To the Queen of Cups, about feels, we'll see. Ooh, to the Knight of Cups, yes, it is about feels. This is the metaphorical knight in shining armor. To the Hangman, putting some wood to it, right? Thinking about what just came into you, right? Pausing, surrendering, processing, coming out on the other side with a decision, right? Because this Hangman energy is is the escalation of a decision-making progress from uh, good grief from um, from the hermit mode the nine of swords the eight of swords what other thinking cards hermit nine of swords eight of swords hangman of course um, I think that's it I think that's it for the for the thinking cards I could be wrong but anyway this is the final stage of the thinking process about to actually implement a decision to the knight of wands this is inspired passionate action to the three of wands preparing having some foresight um, thinking about things waiting we'll see okay so what these cards say at face value okay what they say at face value is love relationship or a very strong partnership messages of heartfelt passion hope faith purpose and renewal betrayal and deceit surveying the landscape speaking truth making a decision about harmony happiness values alignment in your relationships to re communicating again with the queen of swords or making a decision like i said i think those three cards are going to intertwine the middle of your spread stability security control bringing something to a conclusion starting something new Feelings, feelings, thinking, passion, preparing. Okay? That's what's going on here. Now, let's clarify. All right. Let's clarify. Woohoo! What do we got going on here, Taurus? Let's pick up the energy. 
let's pick it up. I'm just so uncomfortable on camera. If you're new to this channel, um, I'm. this is only like the third time I've done on camera um, reading. Second time for Taurus, I think I'm doing it. I think I did a video for Gemini and a video for Aries on camera. But I'm not used to it at all, and it slows me down. It really does. It slows me down because when... I'm concentrating on the cards and I don't have to concentrate on anything else. It's just, you know, but now I have to get my actual motor skills involved in the whole situation. So I'm doing intuition and energy and um, speaking and motor skills all at the same time. It's a struggle. <laughs> it's a struggle. So anyway, so let's clarify this reading. All right, let's clarify it. All right, all right, all right, all right. So the page of wands, I, that's understood, right? I understand that that is some kind of passionate communication. To the star card, <laughs> passionate communication about having hope, having faith, and renewal in a situation. Understood. Spirit, tell me about this seven of swords right here. Tell me about this seven of swords. What is this seven of swords right here? What is this Seven of Swords right here? What was that? Seven of Wands. Challenge, okay? Challenge. Whoa. Wheel fell out too. I don't know where it goes though. I and It doesn't go to the Seven of Swords. I'm going to put this right at the beginning of the reading. How about that? Because we have the Two of Cups, this Hope, Faith, Purpose, and Renewal. We're going to put that wheel at the beginning of the reading. I can do that because... I'm the reader. Okay. So. And hangman. Got it. Understood. So the seven of swords. Betrayal, deception, shady behavior. Seven of wands. This is your challenge in the hangman energy. Thinking about it. To the king of swords. And I'm going to show you these cards when I go back and read this whole reading, you know, when I sew it together. I'm going to go back and I'll hold up all the cards and we'll explain it and talk about it. I'm just working it out right now, okay? To the King of Swords, some kind of truth is spoken and the Princess of Wands. So some kind of truth is spoken about this same Page of Wands, right? Because that Princess of Wands is the Page of Wands. So some truth is spoken, same thing. Um, King of Swords, Princess of Wands, to the Knight of Pentacles. Some truth is spoken about how to move forward in the energy of the Star card. Hope, Faith, Purpose, and Renewal. The truth is spoken about feelings. The Ace of Cups. The truth is spoken about feelings. What else, Spirit? Let's go to this Ten of Cups. Okay, that's right. See? See? I told you. The King of Swords. So truth is spoken about feelings. About the Ten of Cups, right? About the Ten of Cups. About bringing healing to the situation and taking action. Communication coming in about healing to the situation, but nevertheless, action. Okay? To the Ten of Cups. Got it. Now, tell me about this Queen of Swords right here. <laughs> it is. Okay. So the Queen of Swords, which would be you in this reading, Taurus, is um, the Seven of Cups, right? Um, confusion, wishful thinking, illusion. You're like, yeah, I don't think so, bro. We've been through this a couple different times and uh, got the t-shirt and not real sure I want to ride again, right? King of Wands. <laughs> this guy has been following us around for ever right and here you are completely and totally at odds with yourself about this freaking king of wands right here what a bastard or bastardess okay 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 and he knew that was communicate uh, an exchange of communication okay cool to the four of pentacles in the center of the reading spirit is this four of pentacles about self-protection or is this four of pentacles about bringing stability in the six of wands so it's about bringing stability security stability security um control to the situation 
with victory, progress, success, self-confidence. The Nine of Pentacles is about bringing it to a conclusion. Okay, so the Four of Swords says that you're still thinking about this victory, progress, and success, right? And it is, it, it's also about, it's a dual purpose card, the Four of Pentacles. It's about feeling self-protective. And it's about contemplating bringing security, stability, and control of the situation into context. So the Nine of Pentacles comes in. Is this a culmination? What's the Nine of, Nine of Pentacles to the Page of Cups? Because the Nine of Pentacles is about conclusion, fruition, attainment to the Page of Cups. So it's an attainment. It's a, it's a, tell me about this Nine of Pentacles. We've got, we have strength to the sun so it's strength to the sun so it's bringing things to a conclusion it's attainment fruition fulfillment and it's taken some strength to get here but it does make you happy and you see things differently page of cups message the creative new beginning message to create a new beginning in the fields with the Queen of Cups right there. In the fields. Anything you want to say about this spirit? Page of Cups, Queen of Cups, King of Cups. Cups everywhere. Feeling, spilling all over the place. Somebody get a mop. Nope. The only thing they want to say is celebration. You know what? This Three of Cups goes to the hangman because this is what you're thinking about. Hold on a second. Spirit, tell me about this Three of Cups. Hangman or the Queen of Cups to the Nine of Cups and the Page of Cups? Is it just celebration? Oh, it's celebration and reunion. Celebration and reunion, but it also goes to the hangman. So it's the bridge, right? It's the bridge. So Page of Cups, Queen of Cups, Knight of Cups, celebration, reunion, but you're still in the hangman energy. Yep, look, you're still in the hangman energy, thinking about the past, thinking about, so we have reuniting and reconciling, and then we have reuniting and, re, well, reuniting and celebrating, and then we have reuniting and reconciling with someone from your past. And if we turn these around, because you're in the hangman energy here too, this is about, this is about a third party situation that happened in this relationship in the past. And you're in hangman about it, thinking about it. Because, I mean, we got the Page of Cups, the Queen of Cups, the Knight of Cups, the Ace of Cups twice, I do believe. The Two of Cups, the Star card, the Wheel. Something just flipped. Oh, look. A tower moment. A tower moment. Now I have to find out more, right? A tower moment. In the hangman energy, a tower moment? What is this? Oh. Hmm. So the plot thickens. Queen of Wands. This is the other woman. Could be. Hold up. Could be. Representative of the King of Wands, which is the first cards that came out here, right? Okay. Hold up. Let's see. Spirit. Okay. I'm seeing what you're putting down here, Spirit. But I just need a little bit more to the story. What's next? Spirit, what's next? Princess of Pentacles and the Hermit. The Princess of Pentacles and the Hermit. Hmm. Okay. So the Queen of Wands. To the manifestation of a new beginning in the Hermit. I don't understand what the Tower moment is. I should have stopped while I was ahead to tell you the truth. Judgment and the Prince of Wands. Okay, and then we have the Prince of Wands again. Okay, understood. 
Understood, understood. Oh, look, Justice was just all weird in the deck. Look, I got more weird in the deck. So it was Justice that was weird in the deck to the King of Pentacles, you, <laughs> by the Emperor. No fucking way. By the Emperor. <laughs> As the Knight in Shining Armor. Oh my God, you guys. Wow. Wow. Let's see. Oh, the Three of Wands. Preparing, having foresight. Tell me more. One more about the Three of Wands right here. One more about the Three of Wands. One more about the Three of Wands. Here we go. Lovers. Holy shit. Lovers. Anything else you want to say, Spirit? And the Queen of Cups. Okay. All right. I can't help it. Let's do one more. Let's do one more. Let's do one more. That was a that was a faux pas. That was me. That was not spirit. That was sloppy fingers. Queen of Swords. That was spirit. Queen of Swords. This is uh, you making the decision. I'll be doggone, gone, 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 gone. All right. So let's read this from the top. Actually, I'm gonna pull. Um, yeah, I'll do that later. I have a new Oracle deck. Never really was into Oracle cards. I tried the spirit ones and I tried the, um, the animal ones and the angel ones. And, you know, that's just not my thing. It's just not. It's just not. So I found this Oracle deck and I dig them. All right. <coughs> Let's do this. Okay. So we open this reading with the Two of Cups. This Two of Cups is, oh, I'm supposed to be showing you, right? This Two of Cups, Two of Cups, unified love relationship, right? To the Wheel of Fortune, right? And this was a clarifying card that came out when I was focusing on the Seven of Swords, but yet I wasn't asking for anything. And I really think that this, these two cards are the overall energy here. And it doesn't matter where I put this card in this entire reading, it's going to mean the exact same thing. So in a two of cups relationship, either a love relationship or a unified partnership, there is going to be a turning point in both of your lives, in the situation and in your destinies. True. <coughs> okay. This is because passionate messages come in about hope, faith, purpose, and renewal of the relationship. Now, renewal, hope, faith, and purpose, this gives us the context, right? The foresight that this is about something from your past, okay? All right, so then we have the Seven of Swords. The Seven of Swords says that in the past, or perhaps you don't trust it now, but there has been or is some kind of betrayal, deceit, some kind of shady behavior happening, right? And we haven't determined if the sh shady behavior is past, present, or future, but there is some kind of shady behavior associated with this passionate messages message that comes in about hope, faith, purpose, and renewal. Our clarifying cards are the seven of wands to the hangman to the princess of swords, right? To the princess of swords, princess of wands. <laughs> Sorry. So this tells me that your challenge, you are challenged, challenged with the seven of wands, go into hangman energy with the hangman, pausing, processing, surrendering, coming out on the other side with some kind of new perspective about these passionate messages that have come forward about renewing this relationship with the seven of swords where there has been some kind of shadiness in the past. So you're challenged by this. You go into the hangman energy in that hangman energy, you make a decision with the King of Swords. You speak your truth and you make a decision with the King of Swords to return 
passionate messages with the Princess of Wands, which is the exact same card as the Page of Wands. They're just a different deck. So you make a decision about those passionate messages and return those passionate messages. <clears throat> Maybe not. Now remember, pages are small, like I said earlier. Little bitty. So, I mean, it could be a text message that says, you know, been thinking about you. How you doing? Right? And you text back and you get that text message and you're like, all, and you text back. I'm like, I'm good. How are you? Right? And boom, it's on. Right? So those are the kind of messages. It's not some big heartfelt thing. It's just a little connection that, okay, it's a connection. It's a small spark that ignites, that reignites the feelings between you and it triggers you to take inspired action. How's that for a definition of what's going on here? The Knight of Pentacles comes in. This Knight of Pentacles comes in and talks about um, looking at the landscape, right? Taking a step back and just looking at the landscape to the King of Swords. The Empress, okay? So looking at the landscape as the Empress, okay? As the Empress, right? The Empress isn't involved, okay? Her feelings aren't involved in her decision-making processes. She takes a step back and she looks at the situation with every perspective of the queens in the tarot. The Empress steps back and she evaluates the situation as the Queen of Swords. She evaluates the situation as the Queen of Fire. She evaluates the situation as the Queen of Love. And she evaluates the situation as the Queen of Security. Right? And that's what you're doing here. You don't have your feelings on your sleeve. You have them, you're holding them close to your chest, right? holding them close to your chest, and you are evaluating the landscape with the Knight of Pentacles like a boss. King of Swords comes in and says somebody has made a decision or spoken their truth about how they feel. And I think somebody, this is somebody who has spoken their truth about how they feel. Because it's not you making a decision. Not yet. So somebody has spoken the truth about how they feel. And they have they have brought you messages about the Ten of Cups. Right? Happiness, harmony, values alignment. Um, let's bury the hatchet. Okay? It, it doesn't necessarily... Um, any of this really have to be about a big, huge, torrid love relationship, okay? Not yet, anyway. But it is definitely about somebody wanting to bury the hatchet and, um, and create a sense of stability and foundation in a new redo of a relationship. Temperance comes in and says that you are, are sitting on this for a minute. You're just going to sit on. You're going to sit on this whole thing for just a minute. And you are not going to take action with the Prince of Swords. Action. Temperance. Sitting on it. Sitting on the action. You're not going to take action just yet. Because you are in the Queen of Swords. Right? So this other person, they're speaking their truth to you about how they feel about you and about the situation. Bringing in the Ten of Cups, right? Happiness, harmony, values, alignment in your relationship. But you're sitting on taking any action because you're in the Queen of Swords energy. You're thinking, thinking hard about how you feel about this situation to the King of Wands. This guy, right? 
thinking hard about this guy right here because this King of Wands character is the King of Swords up here and the Page of Wands over here bringing in, uh, professing their truth about how they feel. And you can't help but to be in the Seven of Cups. That's, that's just where you are. It's like wishful thinking, illusion. It's like, are you serious? We've already done this. And it didn't work and we've probably done it a couple times and it hasn't worked what makes now any different than then right hmm but you're surveying the landscape like a boss right you are you are not jumping into anything right this second little skeptic Skeptical, a little skeptical, right? Because you are on a lockdown mode. You're on lockdown mode. This is a card of self-protection, and um, but it's also a card about bringing balance, not balance, stability, um, stability, control, and um, security. Stability, control, and security, right? So you see a glimmer of possibly bringing some kind of stability, control, and security to this relationship that has been ongoing with this King of Wands forever. Six of Wands comes in and says that uh, what's on the table is victory, progress, and success with this relationship. And the Four of Swords comes on top of it all and says, I'm just gonna think about this for a minute. I'm gonna be in self-protection mode and I'm just going to think about all of this victory, progress, and success, okay? I'm just gonna think about it. The Nine of Pentacles says that uh, you're gonna bring it to a completion. You're going to bring your thought process to a conclusion, fruition and attainment. You're going to bring this process that you're in right now to a conclusion. And you are going to return communication with a message of creating a new beginning. Strength. This is what you've just gone through, right? This is what you've just gone through. This is what you just mustered up in this whole mustard, not mustard, not like hot dog mustard, but mustard like create. <laughs> okay, so strength is what you have mustered up um, during this whole decision making process, right? You feel strong. You feel strong in your decision. You feel strong in the way that you feel and you feel strong in your knowledge of the situation. <clears throat> Sun card says that you see things very clearly and that you think that this that this union may very well bring you some some um, positivity success vitality to your life Queen of Cups you in your feels the Knight of Cups them in their feels okay the Knight in shining armor there's an age difference we have pages all over the place and queens all over the place, including the empress, right? I think there's some kind of age difference between you guys, some kind of difference, some kind of gap between you. Um, just pointing that out. So anyway, so we got the queen of cups, right? You in your fields and the knight of cups, them in their fields. What's all this feels about? Then we have you in the hangman energy. Now, we already done made this decision, right? You returned the communication about feels. Feels are on the table. Everybody knows we're talking about feels here, right? But there you go into the hangman energy again, right? Withdrawing just a second. You got to process some things. You got to process this, okay? So you made the decision. You sent the message. Feels are on the table. And now you're going to stop for a second. You're going to stop. You're going to think. What are you thinking about? 
Well, what you're thinking about is what was in the past, the Three of Cups, okay? This is why the Seven of Swords is up there. Some kind of betrayal, deceit, shady behavior. That's what you're thinking about. And this card is also about reuniting, right? So you're thinking about reuniting with this person or thinking about having reunited with this person. But I think that there's just a little bit of a third-party situation that rings in the back of your head. Six of Cups, reuniting and reconciling your differences. Because of a tower moment. Tower, right? There was some kind of upheaval chaos right and I'm not talking about your house burning down I'm talking about in the fields right upheaval and chaos upheaval and chaos an epiphany a revelation and awakening this is this whole reading that's what this tower moment is this tower moment is this whole reading that we just did right and there's that Queen of Wands, who is the King of Wands. But we've already used the King of Wands, so we have no choice but to show the Queen of Wands, okay? It's the same energy. It's the same same energy. They're counterparts, right? They're the same energy. So this Tower moment is the King of Wands, Queen of Wands, Page of Wands, King of Swords, Knight of Cups, dude, person, right? But they're all male, I'm sorry to say, but they're all male energies male energies so the tower moment is about this queen of wands bringing you manifesting with you a brand new opportunity in the hermit so you go from the hangman energy which is a little bit lighter into the hermit soul searching and introspection where you make a judgment call your judgment call is the rebirth of this relationship that's your judgment call that's the that's the the absolute decision that you make absolute decision that you make in the hermit mode is that there's going to be a rebirth of this relationship the prince of wands comes in and talks about passionate action inspired action inspired action so you are are now like going full in like all on full in inspired action right you're like baby let's do this justice this is justice this is cause and effect right cause and effect what is the cause the cause is whatever is said in this page of wands message that creates hope faith renewal in this relationship right cause and effect the cause is the message the effect is the reuniting and reconciling. This is justice to the situation. King of Pentacles, you, Taurus, control, power, abundance to the Emperor, who is this King of Wands, Queen of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, this is the card of Aries. You could be dealing with an Aries. You don't have to be dealing with an Aries, okay? But nevertheless, you see this person as the emperor and they see you as the king of pentacles, right? And the two of you together create the most solid foundation that any matching of the, um, the um, tarot can bring, in my opinion in my opinion. I want to point out that this emperor right here for me and my reading is half Scorpio as well. Just want to point that out. And the king of fire is half Scorpio for me as well. So maybe you're dealing with Scorp. Emperor, them, um, they are um, coming together with an exchange of feelings of love. Knight of Wands, there's passionate messages again. Passionate action, passionate inspired action being taken in this whole situation, right? So they came to you, you processed everything, got your head all straight, came out of the hermit mode with the decision to rebirth this situation. Y'all come together, right? 
come together and you exchange cups of love with the Prince of Cups and take inspired action to push this relationship forward. And the Three of Wands is about expansion, expanding your world in the realm of a love relationship. Queen of Cups, your feels all over the place, feels everybody's feels all over the place. I'm choking in feels here, feels everywhere. And the Queen of Swords, this is your decision. This is what you're going to do. And it's on from here. That is your reading for the next two weeks, Taurus. Two weeks. All is going to happen. Two weeks, give or take, right? Give or take. We're all individuals. We all process differently. So this could take a day for you. This could take uh, 10 months for somebody else, okay? All right. <clears throat> These are the new oracle cards, right? They're called uh, the Magdalene Oracle. I have a great fondness for Mary Magdalene of the Christian Bible. I do. So... Magdalene Oracle. I identified with them immediately when I saw them and I'm going to pull one for you. Okay, we got acceptance. I think I'm going to pull one more. One more. So we have acceptance. And what else? What else, Spirit? God, they're huge though. What else, Spirit? What else can you... Do you have anything else you want to say to, to Taurus? Any kind of parting words? Was that it? Was I on point with just that one? Do I just need to be quiet and do my job? Do I just need to be quiet? I think I do. Okay. So acceptance. Acceptance. Let's see what this says. Acceptance. Okay. Acceptance is the key word for you at the moment. You have the power to heal and bring balance to an area of your life that is causing you concern by accepting things as they are. Don't try to change that which is beyond your power to change. Focus instead on that over which you have power. You have power over the way you react to the events in your life. Adopting and accepting, adopting and accepting attitude will help you regain your sense of inner peace. There's no point worrying about something if worrying about it will make no difference. True. Believe that the forces of life are with you and not against you. Make the most of what you have instead of wishing you had more. However, acceptance does not mean that you need to give up on your dreams, hopes, or aspirations. Just know that there is a higher purpose to things and trust all will work out for your highest good and for the highest good of all concerned. Interesting. I think that that really, I think it really kind of fits here, right? Right? Acceptance. You have to... Accept divine timing. You have to accept that sometimes people do things that may hurt you or them or the people around them because they have to grow, right? Because they have to grow or they have to change. And their change is not part of your journey. So oftentimes people part ways. Oftentimes bad things happen in good relationships and good people do bad things. Um, and it's their journey. It's part of their journey. And if that causes you to part ways, um, then so be it. But if it's in divine timing and if it's meant to be, it's going to come back around to you one way or another. But the thing is, is is that you have to have the mentality of the empress to be able to recognize and notice when something is toxic in your life and no matter how many times it comes back around it doesn't mean it's meant to be a part of your life okay you have to have discernment to understand when somebody is toxic and when somebody isn't toxic and the discernment to understand that sometimes people do toxic things but it doesn't make them a toxic person i hope that makes sense right i hope it makes sense but anyway um yeah okay well there you go taurus that is your reading 
for the next two weeks wow we all right there you go you guys i do hope you enjoyed it if you want a personal reading from me you can reach me at deepthoughtswithdana.com and i do hope you enjoyed it namaste